All right, so let's get started. We're going to move forward to the back and place your bolster right by the tailbone. As always, we start laying down. Legs, arms out. Breathe deeply. Inhale for count of six. Hold for three. Exhale for six. Deep breaths. One more deep breath. Stretch the arms overhead. Inhale. Exhale, bring the arms down. Keep going five more. Inhale, exhale, four more. So bring the knee into the center, open, into the center, open, three, two, one, use your right palm to keep the hip open, three breaths here. Relax the 
One more deep breath. Good. Air butterflies, soles of the feet together. Take your hands to the outer edges of both feet. Try to get that tailbone and lower back flat on the ground. Open the knees out. Two more breaths here. Good. All right. Bring the right foot down. Keep the right knee bent. Take this left foot to the right thigh. Okay, same thing on this side. Open and close. Bring the knee to the center and then bring the knee away, opening the hip. Three, <coughs> two, one. Keep it open. Left hand to the left thigh. Stretch it away from the body. So you're going to uh, stretch and extend your elbow and gently push the thigh away from the opening of this hip joint, right hand over the head. All right, lift this right foot up, figure four on the side. Interlace your hands behind the right knee, four breaths. Baby, grab the hands and the soles of the feet. And before swinging left to right, gently with your palms pressing on the soles of the feet and driving gently the knees towards the ground. Not that they reach towards the ground, but gently push towards the ground. And you feel the stretch in the inner thighs, the adductors. As before, keep your lower back and tailbone on the ground. Three breaths here. And rock back and forth, left to right. Good. Come back to your center, soles of the feet together, butterfly on the ground, arms overhead. And straighten out everything. Straighten out the legs. Point the right toe coming up towards the ceiling. Flex the foot. Bring it down. Three more. Three. Two. One. Good. Now bring it up. Take the hands. Clasp and interlace your hands behind the right knee. Feel the stretch here. Try to keep that left knee extended. Now take your right hand to the lower leg if you can. If you need to, to bend that knee, micro bending, that's fine. Otherwise, bring that right leg out to the right side. Two more breaths. And relax, good. Rotate the hip. Three times counterclockwise and clockwise. So let's go down the opposite direction. Hook this right foot and roll over to the left side. Gentle spinal twist here. Inhale, open and bring that right hand to the right side. Keep that right knee on the ground. Your right shoulder should float in the air. That's perfectly fine. And return. Inhale to prep. Exhale, stretch over. Inhale, return. Exhale, stretch over to the right side. One more time. 
and stay here for three breaths. And return. All right, let's do the other side. So pointing the left toe up, flex the foot, bring it down. Point the left toe up, flex the foot, bring it down. Keep going three, two, one. Good, now bring the leg up, interlace your hands behind the left knee. Feel the stretch here, keep the right knee extended. Three breaths. Take this left hand to the lower left leg behind the knee. So like here's the front of the knee, this is the popliteal area. Go to that calf muscle, so it's a little bit easier. If you need to micro bend, that's fine. But bring that leg over to the side, feel the stretch in the adductor muscles. More breaths here. Good, all right, bend this left knee, hook it behind the right knee, turn over to the right side. Good, all right, so what you're gonna do is inhale to prep, exhale open, and take that left hand over to the left side, touch the floor. Your left shoulder can float in the air, it's perfectly fine. Inhale, return, exhale open. Inhale, return. Exhale, open. One more time. And this time, stay here three or four breaths, whatever floats your boat. Good, and return. Let's come on to the belly. Forehead to ground. You can lift the hands up so your palms are facing the ceiling. Now turn your palms facing the floor, bring the arms forward, come back, turn the palms facing the ceiling and bring it down. This is a stretch good, good for your shoulders if you have rotator cuff issues. Okay, so let's do it again. Palms facing the floor, lift the palms up facing the ceiling. Bring the arms out transverse, turn so palms face the floor, bring the arms overhead, keep the forehead on the ground, bring the palms back transverse, flip the hands facing the ceiling, bring it back and down. Okay, so now that you got the hint and how to do this, we're gonna do three more, okay, three more. Lift, arms out transverse, palms facing the ceiling, Flip it, palms facing the ground, and bring the arms overhead. Bring the arms back to transverse, flip it, palms facing the ceiling, bring the arms back and up, and then bring them down. Two more, here we go, lift, transverse out, palms facing out, flip it, arms forward, overhead, palms facing the ground, Palm still facing the ground, coming transverse, flip it, bring it back and up and down. Last time, lift the palms up, facing the ceiling, bring the arms out, transverse, facing the ceiling, flip it, palms facing the floor, palms facing the floor, overhead, arms overhead, bring the palms out, transverse, flip it, bring the arms up, back and down. Good. Now let's do cobra. So place your hands right by your shoulders and elbows close to the body, low cobra, and bring it down. High cobra, slight bend. Shoulders away from the ears. Keep the elbows hugging the rib cage and bring it down. Okay, seal pose, straighten out those elbows. Feel the stretch in the back. Three deep breaths. Good. Come up to the left side in mermaid pose. So take this uh, left foot in front, keep the left knee bent. 
right knee bent and the right foot behind you. Grab your bolster, place it right here by the left hip. Slide down on that bolster. Bring the arm overhead. Take your left hand to your right wrist and feel the stretch along the right side of the body. Gently come up. All right, bend the back knee. So the right knee is bent. Grab the right hand to the right foot and draw that heel close to the glutes. Feel the stretch in the right quads. Switch. So now bend the right knee in the front, left knee in the back. <clears throat> your bolster is right up against your right hip. Slide down with your right hand on the bolster. Left hand over the head. Grab your left hand to the right wrist and pull overhead. Feel the stretch along the whole side of the body. Slowly come up. All right, guess what? We do it on this side. So grab your left hand to the left foot and take that left heel towards the left glutes or hip. Feel the stretch here in the left quads. And relax. Good. Come into Sukhasana position now. <clears throat> Let's up, place the bolster to the side for now. All right, nice and straight back. Create an extension in your back so that you create space for the discs between the vertebrae. So lengthen your back, lengthen your neck, tuck your chin slightly, shoulders away from the ears, palms facing up. All right, close your eyes and let's take five deep, slow breaths. Inhale for a count of six. Hold for a count of three at the top. Exhale for a count of six. Cycle of five. Okay, when you're ready, bring the arms overhead. Exhale, prayer position. And let's set the intention for today's practice. I'm going to say this affirmation three times. You can follow my lead. I remain peaceful. I have serenity. I remain peaceful. I have serenity. I remain peaceful. I have serenity. Palms overhead, three deep breaths. Stretch the arms out. Fingertips touching the ground, chin to the chest. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, chin to the chest. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, chin to the chest. Rotate that left ear to the left shoulder. Chin to the chest. Right ear to the right shoulder. Chin to the chest. Bring the head up to neutral. Turn the head over to the left. Up to the center. To the right. Up to the center. Hands on the knees. Scoop hollow and round the back. 
You now lift the arms up. Exhale, scoop hollow and round the back. Three more, inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Cat cow, inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Four more, inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Three more. Two more. One more. And big hip circles all the way around. In another direction. And let's stretch those hips by moving forward with deep breaths. Folding forward here. Roll it up. Switch legs. Back fold forward again. Three deep breaths. Walk the hands over to the left side. Walk the hands over to the right side. Left hand up over the head. And let's flow with the breath. Inhale, lift. Exhale. To the opposite side. Inhale, lift. Exhale. To your left. Inhale, lift. Exhale to your right. And now take your hand, stretch forward. Opposite hand comes up. Your armpit should face the ceiling. Hips should be grounded. Release. Shoulders away from the ears. Switch hands and lift. So your left armpit's facing the ceiling, left hand forward. Inhale, lift the right hand. Twist and feel the stretch on this left side, right armpit facing the ceiling. And now bring the right hand forward. And last one, take this left hand all the way over the head and down. Spinal twist, raise the arms up. Exhale, twist and look over this left shoulder. Three deep breaths here. And inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Three deep breaths here. And keep flowing. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. One more. Good. A more active twist. Four fingers in the front, down the back. Inhale, exhale. Good. back, rotate the shoulders backwards, rotate the shoulders forwards. Good, shrug the shoulders, inhale up, exhale down, keep going, five more. Good, all right, take your glasses off if you have one. I'm gonna do tapping, emotional freedom technique. And the affirmation today will be, I have serenity. Index finger and middle finger together from crown to root, repeating three times. I have serenity. I have serenity. I have serenity. Okay, third eye. I have serenity. I have serenity. I have serenity. Right below the eyeballs. I have serenity. I have serenity. I have serenity. Upper lip. I have serenity. I have serenity. I have serenity. Chin. I have serenity. I have serenity. I have serenity. Throat chakra. I have serenity. I have serenity. 
I have serenity. Okay, sternum heart chakra. I have serenity. I have serenity. I have serenity. Solar plexus. I have serenity. I have serenity. I have serenity. Find the belly button, go two fingers below. I have serenity. I have serenity. I have serenity. Finally, root chakra hips. I have serenity. I have serenity. I have serenity. Okay. Stretch the legs out, tap it all out. Good. All right, let's do alternate nostril breathing. Make a fist with the right hand, last two fingers out and thumb. Thumb to the right nostril. Okay, here we go. Inhale through the left for six. Hold three, two, one. Last two fingers of the left nostril. Exhale through the right for six. Inhale through the right for six. Hold three, two, one. Thumb on the right. Exhale through the left for six. Inhale through the left for six. Hold three, two, one. Last your fingers on the left. Exhale through the right for six. Keep going at your own pace. And one more time. Hold three, two, one, and big exhale. One more stress relieving breath exercise. Hands to the shoulders. We're going to do cat cow. But as you inhale and arch your back, hands are right by the shoulders. As you exhale, you extend the arms and exhale out through the mouth. Five of these. One more. Good. Interlace your fingers behind you and stretch forward, arms overhead. Three breaths. Slowly come up and release. Straighten out your legs. Flex and point the toes. Flex and point. Rotate the ankles, arms out transverse, back is nice, straight shoulders, down and away from the ears, inhale to prep, exhale, twist over to the left, inhale, return, exhale, twist over to the right, keep going, three, two, one, arms up, hinge forward, four breaths. sole of the right foot to the inner left thigh. Keep the hips square. Hinge forward and take the left hand behind the back. Four breaths. Good. Come up. Butterfly. Hands to the ankles. Hinge forward. Try to keep the back as straight as possible. Nice and flat. Elbows gently opening up your hips, lean forward, four breaths. Slowly come up, straighten out the right knee, flex the right foot, sole of the left foot to the inner right thigh, hip square. Raise the arms up, hinge forward. And if you're flexible, take the hand behind the back. And come up, good. Create a diamond shape with the legs. Take the hands underneath the ankles, fold forward. Come on up. Grab your bolster, 
open up into extended wide angle pose. Use your bolster to slide forward and back. Keep your knees and toes facing the ceiling. Slide forward, slide back. Keep going. Three. Two, one, and stay here for four breaths. Come on up, left hand to your bolster, right hand up towards the ceiling and over to the left side. Slowly come back. Ooh, sorry, get dizzy. Left hand up and over to the right side, four breaths. And slowly come up. All right, let's come into child's pose. Open up the big toes together, knees out. Take the hands on the bolster. Forehead down, armpits to the ground. Now, when you're ready, walk this right hand underneath the left armpit. Keep the hip square, stretch the right shoulder. And switch. So walk this left hand underneath the right armpit, stretch the left shoulder, keep the hips and shoulders square, forehead to the ground. All right, when you're ready, go ahead and walk the hands over to the left side, right hand on top of the left, four breaths. And walk the hands over to the right side, left hand on top of the right. Good. Come back to the center. Find your bolster. Bring the knees together in child's pose with the knees together, hips to the heels, and do what you can. Allow your arms to go overhead. Let the head hang. Good. All right, now sit back on the heels so you can stretch your ankles gently. And then when you're ready, come up onto the knees, curl the toes under. And when you're ready, I want you to take your navel to the spine. So you have a nice neutral spine, lift the pelvic floor up. So now all of this core is engaged. Keep that core engaged as you bring the right foot forward, curl the left toes under. As you keep the core engaged, you're more stable and you support the lower back and hips as you move forward and begin to stretch that left hip flexor. Lift the arms up overhead, lift from the chest, but don't arch the lower back at all. Just lift from the chest. Bend the elbows 90 degrees, head neutral, Otherwise, you can look up, whatever floats your boat. If you have neck issues, keep the head neutral. Four breaths here. And release. 
Okay. Left foot forward. Curl the right toes under. Tony in. Navel to the spine, tailbone under. So body check here. Checking your posture, all engaged. Push the hips forward. Curl the right toes under. Feel the stretch in the right hip flexor. Lift the arms up. And now bend the elbows 90 degrees. Cactus arms, open the chest. Four breaths here. And release. Good. Come into frog. So get the elbows on the ground. Interlace your hands. Open the knees out. Four breaths. Slowly come up, keep the palms on the floor. Stay in front here, do one more breaths. Two more breaths. One more breath, good. Bring the knees together off of the bolster. Place the bolster to the side. Come on to the belly. Arms out transverse, forehead to the ground. Bend the right knee and take the right foot over towards the left hand. If it doesn't reach, that's fine. You can keep it up in the air like this or bring the foot down if you're flexible. And if you're truly flexible, you can bind and take your left hand to the right foot. Feel the stretch here, four breaths. All right, right cheek to the mat. And now we're gonna do the same thing, bend the left knee, take the left foot all the way over to the right side, touching with your right hand if possible. Otherwise you can keep that left knee up in the air. Four breaths here. And return. Push into child's pose. Knees open, big toes together. Come up back onto your knees, hands parallel to the shoulders. Knees align with the hips, cat cow, inhale, arch, exhale, round. Inhale, arch, exhale, round. Four more. Three more. Two more. One more. Hip rotations. Other direction. Puppy dog pose, knees hip distance apart, arms out, armpits to the ground, hips stay up, chin to the back. Good, come on up. Drop the right hip down, bring the legs around. Deep spinal twist here, bend the right knee. Right foot over the left thigh, left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Lengthen and twist, four breaths. Twist to the opposite side, two breaths. 
and return switch left knee left foot over the right thigh right elbow to the outside of the left knee lengthen the spine straighten it out and twist and hold that left shoulder four breaths here Turn the head and the opposite body to the opposite side. Two breaths here. And return. Good. All right. Bring the arms up. Forward bend. Four breaths. And when you're ready, use your abdominal muscles. Just go follow and round that back. And come down one vertebra at a time. Good. Okay, bend the knees. We're going to do a shoulder bridge. So when you are ready, lift the hips up, scoop the shoulders closer to each other, hands to the lower back if they need support. And four to five breaths here, whatever you want to do. Look up at the ceiling. Try not to crunch your neck. Keep that head as neutral as possible so the neck does not get straight. And release. Good. Happy baby. Grab the hands and the soles of the feet and rock back and forth. Find your bolster, place it underneath the tailbone, legs and arms up for about a minute or two here. Feel free to wiggle your fingers and toes if you want to, just to reverse the blood flow. Deep breaths here. And bring the legs down, arms overhead, four breaths here. Let the hip flexor spine relax. Feel the stretch in here, so as possible. Okay, tuck the right knee to the chest. Can you place the hands around the right knee, four breaths? And switch. And relax. Good. Lift the hips up. Take the bolster away. All right. So now when you're ready, I want you to Get into that yoga nidra position. Feel free to use the bolster underneath your knees if you want to. Whatever floats your boat. Get nice and relaxed. Close your eyes. As I lead you into a guided meditation. Let's see the comments out there. When you are ready, bring your awareness to your feet. Go ahead and point and flex your toes. Point and flex. Take a deep breath. On the exhale, let it go. Bring the awareness 
glutes to the lower legs, knees, and thighs. Squeeze the muscles tight. Take a deep breath. On the exhale, let it go. Come to the glutes and squeeze the glutes. Lift the hips up off the ground. Take a deep breath. Exhale, let it go. Now bring the awareness to the belly breath. Take a deep inhale and hold that breath in the abdomen. Now open the mouth, big sigh, let it go. Now take the big breath from the belly up into the chest and rib cage and hold. Big sigh, let it go. Now take the deepest breath, belly, chest, rib cage, collarbone, hold. Big sigh, let it go. Come to the hands and lift the hands up, squeeze, make a tight fist. Inhale, stretch the fingers out, exhale, release and let go. Come to the shoulders, lift the shoulders up towards the ears, take a deep breath. Exhale, release, and let go. Come to the facial muscles, squeeze and squint the face tight. Stretch the face, open the mouth, stick out the tongue, release, and let go. Let go of the lower jaw from the upper jaw. Relax the lips, the cheeks, the nose, the eyes, the forehead, the scalp. Scan the body from head to toe for any remaining pockets of tension. If there is any area still tense, breathe into that space and on the exhale, let go of the tension. Breathe in relaxation and exhale out tension. Breathe in positive energy and exhale out any negativity. If mental chatter pops up, it's quite normal. See it for what it is. Electrochemical reactions in the brain. It is not who you are. It is not your true self. So like everything else in nature, let it pass. Till the mind is empty of all frivolous thoughts is focused on the peace and serenity that rises from deep within. The deep energy is your soul. It's always peaceful, serene, a divine spark within us all. Allow it to bubble up to the surface. And see that energy as white light spreading from the center of your heart across the chest and arms, up the spinal cord and bathing the brain in white light, transmuting all negative thoughts, fear-based thinking, and all scrambled thoughts, distractions, all cleared away by this white light. See that energy flow down the spinal cord into all the muscles and tissues and organs of the body from the chest to the torso, to the pelvis and down the lower extremity until your whole body is lit up with this white light and you no longer identify with just simply your body your breath and your emotions but your soul the soul preserves you and provides you strength in this lifetime Rejuvenate your soul and bring it back into balance. So let's take our soul journey to serenity, bringing us back, recharging, and bringing us back to balance. See yourself by a lake on a full moon night in the evening, early evening, around 8 p.m. The night welcomes you in a canopy of stars. Listen and welcome. You're 
longer staring at this beautiful array of stars. They welcome you to relax. You contemplate and you meditate how vast the universe is. And as your own little universe within you gets rebalanced and restored, you lay down and allow Mother Earth to support you in this relaxation along the shoreline of this lake. The trees are lining up all along the shoreline of this lake. Nature surrounding you as you discover your own true nature. And on this full moon night, the full moon reflects on the lake. The lake is calm and the air is cool and crisp. And as you lay there, you contemplate that white light of the moon as moon beams, relaxing. See that white light across the crown, face and neck, across the shoulders and arms and forearms, wrists, palms and fingertips, all relaxing. See the white light move across the neck, chest, abdomen, the muscles of the back, and the entire vertebral column relaxes, deep connection with the earth supporting it. The white light continues across the pelvis, across your sacrum and hips, and down the thighs, knees, lower legs, down to the ankles, and down to the feet. The whole body is relaxed. Your breath is calm. Your mind is clear. Your soul uplifted. Stay in your sacred space. Enjoy the peace and serenity. All right, so the angel reading for today, Angel Numbers by Kyle Gray. I opened up the book and it went straight to, I don't know who needs this or if it resonates with you. Archangel Michael and his angels of protection are putting a ring of light and safety around you. Wonderful. All right, so our last minute will be meditation. Uh, you can choose whatever technique works for you, prayer, mantra, affirmation, or simply just counting your breaths for a minute. If your mind wanders, bring it back on task. Here we go. Take a deep breath, raise the arms up. Exhale, prep position. 
thank yourselves for coming today to the mat, connecting your body, your mind, your soul. And each day, remember, it's a gift. Have the attitude of gratitude for it's never promised. Each day is a gift. And remember to keep practicing yoga, connecting your body, your mind, your soul. Your health is truly your greatest wealth, so stay healthy. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste to you all.